while male baboons unite against hostile forces in partnerships that have been known to last up to six years, out in the open ocean, some males become partners for life. It has long been accepted that dolphins are playful, physical, affectionate creatures. They're also very sexual. These two male bottlenose may well have been together since they were young. When one partner rests, the other watches out for predators. They nurse each other when wounded and travel together in search of females. They will even share the same female. But the male-female bond is temporary. It is the male-male bond which lasts. Two male couples often meet up to form a foursome. If a dolphin dies, his widowed partner may search in vain for another single male. Sometimes the widower is welcomed by the male couple which were his part-time companions, and they form a threesome. But a widower has never been known to break an already existing male pair bond. In the Bahamas, bottlenose share the warm waters with spotted dolphins. Equally sensual and sexual, the spotted dolphins have a similar social setup. Denise Herzing has been tracking these two communities for 16 years and has been able to study male-male and female-female couples. In dolphins, both males and females have what is known as a genital slit and same-sex partners stimulate this slit with their beak or rostrum. There's a behavior called beak genital propulsion, where they seem to push each other. It's probably just a form of stimulation along in the water with one dolphin's uh, rostrum in the other dolphin's genital, male-male and female-female. So why are same-sex pair bonds so strong? If same-sex behavior has the function of, uh, of pleasure or social bonding, then what you've got is a mechanism, in addition to other mechanisms, that glue a society together. Society, in this case, would seem to include more than just one species, as a bottlenose male appears to consent to homosexual behavior with a group of spotted dolphins. Sometimes the interactions between these two species are aggressive, other times they cooperate, babysitting or joining forces against sharks. But why should there be homosexual behavior between two different species? Perhaps the same bonding which works within a group works across species which cooperate with each other. But as with so many questions in this area, research is in its infancy and scientists are still searching for the answer.